Hello everyone, welcome back for um, the third video tutorial. For this video, we are going to look at... Um, okay, so we, this is going to be part 3. For part 3, we look at how to add okay, additional UI members and register for event handling. For example, when something happened to the UI, like user click on the button, we want to do something, okay? So in order to achieve this, um, click events registrations, then uh, we have to first introduce button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, uh, okay, how about this? We're gonna put additional um, UI components now I would like to put the input box and the input box for native script is not labeled as the input box but we call them as tech I believe tech field tech field is basically just like input for HTML okay so I'm going to start adding tech field here so go ahead and I'm going to um, remove this and I will introduce tech field Okay, tech field. All right, and my tech field um, is going to be like this, and having the class. Okay, so let me put class, class two, and uh, margin for the same thing. Margin is going to be ten. Um, fonts size for let's say 30 and now I'm going to introduce that to this so let's say class equal to um, class number two for this and okay in, in addition to font size then I will put color to be um, blue one as well and then um, in addition to this, I'm going to put button as well with title equal to add. Okay, now let's see. Uh, do we have to a good communication? We do not. Okay, so that's why it's close the connection. Sometimes it's happen like this. Whenever you make changes and that changes doesn't make sense, you know, it might generate some other messages and the system clack, clash. So it's going to stop the communications and if that happens, what you need is just restart it. We are going to talk about this after midterm exam anyway. Okay, but for playground, then you just have to reload it or rescan re -scan the QR code and that should fix your problems. Okay, so while we are waiting for this communication to take in place, okay, and all right, here we go. And I should end up having good one. Okay, so as you can see now, we got input box here. Okay, and um, also, then what else that I need? Um, okay, button. Button doesn't have um, title as the property. Button have text. So I put text here, and then save it. Then I should have. Okay. Okay. All right. So now we have add right here. Okay. Add right here. So <clears throat> in this case, uh, what else? Whenever you click on add, nothing happened. Nothing happened at all. So what should we do? Whoa. So in order to do this, like whenever you click on it, I want to do the alert. I could simply do this. I say I want to register for the click event. How do I do this? Well, for click event for native script, we use add tab, okay, equal to double quote. And inside of this is going to be the function name. So let's say let's do one as the function. All right. So we still do not have implemented this function do one. So where do we implement this? Well, if you we call yourself that uh, in the script section we have an object this object have two section one is data that we can put data with variable right here 
we also can put implementation for the method and that means this is the place that we do the implement implementations so go ahead and put do one okay it's the function so we have parentheses and brackets and we put alert say hello semicolon and then we save it now if I click on this as you can see it show hello okay so this is how you register for the events um, there are more than one events that you can register for a button this is the first one so it's called add tab equal to okay and double quote now um, from the official documents this is the shortcut you know um, but the full form is you have to say V on tab like this okay this is identical to you put add like this okay just to let you know you can um, look for this for more from the documentations all right what else so we are now able to whenever you uh, click on this we register for this but I also want to be able to do like click on this and set the data of this okay click on this and set up data of this um, this is what happened to what we call reactive programming so what we do is we usually have a variable that we connect to the UI and whenever you change the variable value then the UI will update it automatically so how do we do this well in data section now we have to add the name of variable let me call this as user name and then I'm going to assign this to be equal to Andy okay equal to Andy all right and what else then um, the next step is I'm going to come here and um, I'm gonna connect the UI for the tech field to this variable so what I need to do is just say v model equal to and put username as the input All right, they still say that uh, there's something wrong about this. What did they say? A uh, bunch of error. Okay, so let me examine this correctly. So I just put username in data section and I did this correctly, I believe. And I put it into equal to Andy. And then this stopped working for me. So let me check this one more time we have add tab equal to do one which is correct we have to model equal to this okay let's say save this one more time we still have communication going on so that's good size so um okay what about if i removed this like what i did before okay so now i have this to come back now the problem with this is about the data section okay let me examine this real quick so data sections is going to be returned now let me check this with playgrounds as well okay in the playground we have a components that data is like this which is correct so we have export default okay so I mean it should work for just fine maybe because I did something wrong here so let me rerun this so I'm going to put username um, equal to like this okay and it doesn't change the fact that I mean whenever you want to put data here you put it this way alright and then I'm going to buy the data to the tech field so we model equal to username alright All right, I think there are some things that are not, uh, this is bother me here is that, uh, okay. Um, since, you know, it's really difficult to put, uh, look at the error on emulator, let's, let's take a look at Lockcat, not let already an expected CPU long time fatal okay how about this if this happened let me um, relearn my operators one more time 
but I, I do believe that this is already correct okay I, I just put the variable here in these sections and then um, I can connect this variable value to the val value for this variable to the UI so whenever I set anything like the empty strings so this one will got this as well so if, if I put like Andy then the Andy should be appear on that UI okay we'll see this together so that's the explanation and now while we are waiting for this to come up let me go over to the documents real quick all right yeah that's the reason of you know sometimes if this happen um, you just have to relearn it now it's working fine um, as I told you that now we just created uh, the variable with the value here and since um, this UI is now connected to this variable how do you know it's connected because we apply V model and we say that hey from now on this variable will be connected to this UI and whenever wherever you make changes in terms of the data the UI will automatically evaluate it re-evaluate it and put the new value for example I can now put in empty string here and save for this and you can see that now the UI updated automatically okay so that's the one way we talk about that in two ways as well um, now what if I like whenever user click on this button I want to put the word Andy right here by myself I don't want to put it initially right here is it possible yes you can so you just have to refer to reference to a variable username now you, you cannot just simply use um, username equal to Andy over here if you want to reference any variable for these components you start with the keyword this and then dot followed by the name of variable itself which is username equal to let's put Andy real quick and that is going to be Andy right there okay so whenever I click over here as you can see it's going to show Andy right here and this is what happened behind the scene whenever you say this username and Andy the system will look at this data section and it's discovered that oh we have one variable called username good so we assign this value to this variable and whenever there is any changes in terms of the contents for this variable then the system notify um, the framework that hey there is changes to this um, this variable variable is connect to whom and they say oh it's connected to this components so they will say hey this UI could you please reevaluate yourself and take a look at your update value and from now it's going to take Andy okay that uh, the reason that is one way another way is what if I'd like to also um, okay um, make changes in the UI and then I also want this data to be saved in the same variable here is it possible yes we can okay so for example now um, I'm going to make comment for this and I'm going to alert the variable value which is username in this case so whenever I did this I click on this it should show um, the current value of username and you can see that the initially the current value is equal to empty string so that's why it show nothing now whenever now I enter anything in here for example um, let's call it hello for example all right now if I click over here the system will call this function and alert the value for this username now you could imagine that initially username the values equal to nothing right so when you click on this you expect to see nothing but no right now because that UI is already connected to this variable when user make any changes in this UI itself as well then when you click on it it show the current update this is what we call two ways communication I'm sorry two way bindings binding mean connection 
you make changes in the UI, the system will take that value from the UI and put it into this variable. You make changes in the previous example from the variable. The system will take that value and put it into your UI automatically. One more time. Now since this variable is connected to these components, when you have remodel, we mean we have two-way communication between the variable and the UI. First way, when you make changes for the UI directly here, then the UI, the system, you take that value from the UI and then um, update it to the variable that connected to the UI. That's one way. Another way, when you um, manually change the value of um, the variable that connected to the UI, that value will be automatically hand and update to the UI for you. So this is the benefit of reactive programming. You don't have to do this manually. The system does this for you whenever you have vModel connected to. Okay? And I think uh, this video tutorial should be able to help you out in terms of visualizing how to register for um, the events, how to implement the functions, how to assign the um, variable that connect to the UI and see the effect. Okay, so in the next video tutorial, we are going to come back and look at, okay, from this, how can I um, implement um, a list view of collections? I'll see you there. Thank you.